Hey, Bill. What you fixing me? I'm not even eating yet, bro. Oh, man, every time I come in the kitchen, you're, eat, you're eating something, usually. No, I'm, I'm just I'm just having this here, bro. Oh, wow. Hey! Look at this. Got a little bit of mess over there. Look at that sink. Wow. You know, you and Eric did a really good job on this kitchen. Thank it's you. about time. You know, I mean, it's like, you guys mess up the... Well, you got a few specs here. Um, anyway, um, I meant to ask you... Mm -hmm. Are, have you, like, talked to Ari since I talked to him and he said something about practicing Thursday night? Yeah, he, um, what was his exact word? Something like, uh, Hoseheads was involved in it. And something about, I wouldn't practice with you if, and then something about your mother. So I guess, I guess, I guess it's not on Thursday. Oh, well. Hose head, huh? Hmm. Hey, you got some uh, tea here. Can I have some tea? Yeah, go ahead. Cool. It's constant common. Well, that's all right. A, a fine blend of of, um, of tea. Can I use your Doctor Who cup? My my Doctor Who cup? Yeah, your Doctor Who cup. Uh, you know the one where the TARDIS disappears? Yeah. It's really cool. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess. Yeah, go ahead. If you really don't want me to, I'll use my new Steve Bookstore cup, selfish. Uh, I, I think it's okay. Go ahead. Use my Doctor Who cup. Okay. Yeah, I really like that Doctor Who cup. Oh, man. Where's the Doctor Who cup? Where's your Doctor Who cup? I don't know. It's gone. You're hiding it from no, me. No, not at all. I know you're probably hiding it. No, I no. bet if I went in your room right now, I'd find it. But I will use this. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Goopy. Hiding it from me because you think that I'm a, a bourgeoisie, as you would put it, you commie. I don't even know why I let you live in this apartment with me. Can I use a lighter? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, sure. <sighs> Man, I, I hate this thing. I should use a match. Yeah. So you um, talked to Ari. Yeah, talked to Ari. And he said something about a hoser. About a hoser. And and and, and your about mother. my mother. And your mother. I'm gonna have to talk to that boy. Yep. Well, I mean, I think I think his his uh. Uh. Well, you know. Well. Yeah, well. I mean, it's I it's kind of like. Say something. His dedication is incredibly high. It is. But I, I think I think he has a problem with your mother. I don't think she should sing. My mother doesn't sing though. Doesn't she? No. Isn't Not she to my knowledge. Isn't she the She studies lapidary science. Isn't she the one in the band? She lives in Arizona. She lives in Arizona? No, that's Sarah. The lead vocalist in our band, Gojira. Mm-hmm is Sarah. Oh. That's not my mother. Okay. Now, I realize that if you were talking about Freud here, you know, how the whole thing with the, the young man leaving his mother and cleaving to somebody who is like his mother, it's not really so, my mother. So your mother, so, you, so your mother's been replaced. I mean, she's no longer the man. No, 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 no. You don't, you don't, you don't get it at all. So is she playing another instrument? No, my mother doesn't play any instruments, to my knowledge. Well, what's she doing she's in the band? She's not in the band. Sarah is in the band. Yeah, I know Sarah's in the band. She's the lead singer. My what's mother doesn't mother? do anything in the band. She lives in Arizona. You understand? You know, like Tucson? Yeah. Okay? Okay, and Sarah sings in the band. I don't, my point was... I, don't, I think your mother's dedication is... Um, I don't think your mother's very dedicated. To the band? No. She's not even in the band. I wouldn't expect her to be dedicated to the band. Well, uh, that's good, because I don't think her dedication is very high. That's good that she's not in. Well, you know, I mean, I, this, these, these are the things that I think really, really makes, you know, uh, a good solid foundation for which to, to work. Um, and, um, um, it's, it's, you know, the dedication down there. Did you drink all the water? 
Uh, Earlier when I came in here, there was water in here. Yeah. And it, and it was just gone. And I know it didn't boil away just in like a couple of like minutes. I might have. Give me the lighter again. How much hair do you have in your hands? Say what? How much hair do you have here on your hands? I've got all the hair on my hands. Today. Yes, I didn't get myself. Boy, I'm kind of hungry. Shit. I wonder what I got in my in the refrigerator here, in my drawer. Mmm. Looks like I've got lots of butter. Oh, that's good for you. Hey, Bill. Are you going to ever use these beans? I'm using them right now. Man, there's stuff growing on them. That's the whole, that's, that's the secret part to my chili. What is it? That's, Hippie culture? Well, that's, that's why you start seeing things after you, after you eat it. See, it's, it's, it's part, what you do is you take a nice big bowl of that chili in there and, and, and you go out into the forest, you know, after it's been cooked for four days, after it's been sitting around for four days, you cook it for four days, and you put lots of lots of um, lots of tomatoes and stuff in it. You go up into the into the forests, and then you eat that stuff. And and you know, I mean, your uh, your mental levels of understanding your role in, in the entirety of creation just go up that far from eating that chili. From eating that chili, yeah, really spicy too, really good. I would think eating that chili would put you straight in the hospital. Well, th that's another part of it. See. Um, uh, getting into the hospital, yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's for a good cause, you know, I mean, you're expanding your, your consciousness. I mean, recovery has to happen. You know, you expand it that much, and something's going to break, you know, I mean, but usually people can't get out of their life. I think I'll just look in the closet. Oh, okay. Why do you constantly drop your cigarettes? Well, it's like this. Well, thank you. What? It's like what? What's like what? You dropped your cigarettes. I asked you, why do you constantly drop your cigarettes? Did and you, you said, you it's like this. Did you want a cigarette? Uh, maybe I'll have one later. Never mind. I'm just going to try to get some food here. Okay. And I wish you'd answer my questions. What? About, about what? About you dropping your cigarettes. It fell out of my hand. Why? Because sometimes things fall out of your hands, Ralph. But with you, they fall out of your hands all the time. What are your neuromotor pathways totally, like, goofed up so that you, like, throw your cigarettes up in the air? No, 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 no. It's just that every now and then, you know, I'll be doing this and maybe I'll miss or something, you know. Okay, all right. Yeah, I reserve Whatever. That. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Oh, gosh. Let's see. These shelves are kind of mixed up. Hey, what's this? What do you use this stuff for? What? Oh, hot chili sesame oil? Well, it's, 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 uh, it's kind of, um, um, well, it's for the chili. Never mind. It's for the chili. Well, it's called hot sesame chili. What else we got in here? Oh. Salt. Notice the word chili. Spices. In that name. And honey. Delight. Hummus. 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 Hippie food. Hippie food. Hippie food. What's this? This looks interesting. Tabuli. Hey, that's my tabuli. 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 You mean you actually eat this crap? Yeah. What do you mean crap? That stuff's incredible. Now, what are you, some kind of hippie, free love, peace? You should have, like, long hair and be living in the 60s what or something. Kind of, Tabuli? What kind of cranial removal operation wearing t-shirt crazed... Yeah, Tabuli! Tabuli, got it. Ah! Here's what I want. Instant mashed potatoes. Yeah, instant. Food of the gods. Instant gut Let rot. me tell you. Gut rot? Gut rot is great. Gut rot. This Hard stuff is great. Good again. I can't believe oh, this. Oh, dingus. Get out of here. Yeah, there's some nutritional value for you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Look at that. Incarnation Mashed of the sad sadist. Let me read you this. Look, look at this. Okay, here we go. All right. 
crusty sour cream. Oh, that's on the wrong side. Okay, that's here we go. That's a fucking no, no. Into, into ingredients. Potato flakes. Not real potatoes, but the flakes of potatoes. Mono and diglyrics. Hey, 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 Sodium hey, acid hey. fight Mr. Hippie commune. Sodium bisulfide. Should have long hair, looking, eating tabbouleh and hummus and... And who knows what? You I don't, don't even have a real cereal. You've got almond delight. Why don't What's you get some delight? Get some frosted flakes in your life, man. Awesome. Tell I ate anything with bifoodle Coffee and cigarettes. Oh come on. Coffee and cigarettes. Put him in front of the TV for a while and make sure he watches Golden Rules. It always calms him down. 
Where are we going to find Golden Girls? Don't you have any on tape? No, I don't have any Golden Girls on tape. Oh, shit! Are you accusing me of having Golden Girls on tape? If you don't have any Golden Girls on tape, what are we going to do about Kurt? Ralph, this is important! What are we going to do about hey, Kurt? Hey, hey, you hey! You don't hey, have I... any Golden Girls! Wake up! Hey, wake man! Up. <laughs> Kurt, I'm coming! I know, my chili! Oh, uh, Kurt, stand up and act like a man. I don't have to drag you up.
Hey, Kurt. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? All right. Good. What you fixing? Uh, steak and some, some mushrooms and a nice butter sauce. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it should be pretty tasty. Hey, Kurt, where's the door and the graffiti board? I don't know. And Eric's room? There's a couch in there. Where's Eric's bed? I can't Where, believe this. Where's Eric? I don't know. How is that there was a bed and a beer sign? What's this? A couch? A couch? A, a TV. table? Look. Wait. What's a microwave? That's your microwave. microwave. It used to be on top of the refrigerator. What's going on here? Popcorn maker? A new table? Cabinet? cabinet? With dishes? A Those TV? are your dishes. Look. Somebody, a stereo? Somebody's been treating me right. I don't know. Hey, let's look over here for a second. Cables? <laughs> Furnishings, courtesy, the chili fairy? Bill! Mm. Bill! Mm. Wake up! Mm. Hey man, wake up! Mm. What are you doing? Uh, wake up, man. Uh, you should see this. Come on, come on. Uh, hey! Get up! Uh, Get no. up! No, 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 please, not me, no, 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 it's me waking no. you up, it's Ralph. Ah! Oh, oh. What, were you right. having a bad dream? Yeah, I was dreaming about Catholic school, it's okay. Look, you've got to come into the living room. You have to come into the living room. Bob, we don't have a living room anymore. We do. No, no, Ralph, we do. back, Ralph. No, no, Eric's, Eric's gone. Don't you ever listen to Nancy Reagan, Ralph? Just say no, Ralph. It's so simple. It's a two-letter word. No, Ralph. Just say no. Say no to all the things you used to do. Clorox. You don't understand. Just say no, man. You don't understand. Eric is gone. Eric's gone? Yes. Come and, on. And, and then why Come is this? Get out here and see this. Why is Eric's cat here? Because he gave Maggot to Miranda oh. for Christmas so or a he, present or something. You're going to keep this nice little cat? Yes. Okay. Come on, come in here. You've got to see this. You have got to see this. I'm serious. You're not going to believe your eyes. Mm. See what I mean? Wait, wake up. What? Look around you. We're in Eric's room. He cleaned it up. Where's his Where's bed? His bed? What's the table doing there? The couches. Where's Eric? I don't know. VCRs what? I didn't TV. do anything with him. What is this accusatory tone, man? These vibes, just, I don't want to wake up with these. I mean, I, I didn't do anything with Eric. If you guys lost Eric, it's your own fault. You Look know? at this. Compliments of the chili fairy. Oh, well, that makes, that makes perfect sense, because I put a whole bunch of chili into my pillow last night. Hoping that chili I under your pillow? Yeah, that's how I do my laundry. I make a big batch of chili, and then after I eat it and go out and experience the wonders of the universe out in the woods somewhere for about a week, um, I come back and I take the remnants of the chili and I put it under my pillow, and that way the chili fairy gives me enough quarters for me to do my laundry. Hey, Matt. Hi, Kurt. I'm not going to believe what happened last night. What? Go look at Eric's room, or lack thereof. Hey, Ralph. Hey, living room. He's not lying, is he? No, uh, who, who, who's not lying? Oh. <laughs> um. Sorry. I can't believe this. I'm just sitting here stunned. So where did all the couches come from? Well, once again, I read The Chili Fairy. Hi, Bill. How you doing? Well, um, I was beaten this morning, and being dragged out of bed, I was accused of stealing Eric. That's <coughs> how I'm doing. How are you doing, man? You mean you didn't steal Eric? Why, no. Of, of course not. What would I have a use for Eric for? Yes, sir. What's that smell? Yes. Where's Larry? Hi, guys. Good morning, Sarah. What's wrong with you guys, you cheery? Look around you. Eric's gone. Yeah. What are we sitting on? Not his bed. A 
couch. You mean you can walk in here and are you that dizzy that you wouldn't notice? So there's couches, big deal. Eric's gone. What's, what's that? Looks like a TV to me. And two VCRs and cable? Courtesy of the Chili Fairy. So people go missing all the time. Somebody will say shrimp. Somebody will say plate. Somebody will say plate of shrimp. Things happen. Oh, come on, you guys. It's not like it, any of you ever cared about Eric anyways. It's it's no big deal. Now we got our living room back. I just want to know what the communists did with him, though. That's my my curiosity. But this chili thing, I mean, it's... You, you notice, like, I, I lost a, a lot of my hair. I mean, it's a, Hey, I didn't notice. I mean, I had this clown visit me. It's a mild hallucination, so you wouldn't believe it. I mean, probably like something from the 60s, some, some bad psychedelic type of stuff happened. It's pretty neat, but I'm feeling much better now. Much, much better. I'm gonna go to a therapist and see if it, we can work this shaman rag once a month out of my system. But it was a very enlightening experience. I know more about the universe now than I ever did. Didn't I tell you? I mean, didn't I, didn't I relay it to you? You know? I mean, of course you will know more about the universe. That chili is so potent. It is so potent. Do you know how many times I've done that chili? Do you know how many times I've slaved over those stoves that I've, that I've let the gases of the earth boil up and, and, and throw its energies into those beans? Do you know how many times? Tell me, how many times? I've only done it twice. 